students in the Mead School District could soon be forced to change schools. Administrators are considering drawing up new boundaries for their elementary schools, all in an effort to alleviate overcrowding. Since 2007, an additional 700 students have enrolled in Mead schools. KXY 4's Katie Curry is working for you, and Katie, sounds like a lot of kids are going to get moved around. Most definitely, Nadine, and with this proposal, each elementary school in the district will be impacted, but the school that will see the biggest change is right here at Prairie View Elementary School. 193 of their students could be moved to Evergreen Elementary School next year. For Prairie View Elementary School opened its doors in 2007. It was already at maximum capacity. Slow and even not so slow growth is much better than a community where we're having to close schools. For years, parents were forced to camp out if they wanted to make sure their child was enrolled at their home school. Then last year, it switched to a lottery system. But if none of that worked out, you ended up like the Ferguson family. It's been a challenge. At one point, they had four elementary age children enrolled in three different schools. Unfortunately enough, we, we managed to get four into two um, in November. Mike Ferguson says his family has been patient, waiting for the district to find a solution. And the latest proposal works. We understood the situation at Prairie View very clearly. Um, we just had a problem with the fact that we would be going to potentially a different elementary school every year. Understandably, many parents are not happy with the proposal, potentially forcing their children out of their schools. But there is no use in pointing fingers. The overcrowding is largely due to the growing community. I have been crazy busy. It's I've put together four deals this week, another five last week. Um, we're not able to really build fast enough. Realtor Karen O'Donnell says since January of 2014, 134 new homes have been built in Five Mile. She estimates since the district's last boundary change in 2007, over 900 homes. If you can't make a change now, when can you? It's going to be the same thing today as it is two years from now, four years from now, until the district can get caught up with development. Today I spoke with the Spokane County Planning Director and he tells me that all of the homes we see popping up around here today were actually approved in the mid 90s and he, they, he tells me that the school district was notified except there was no way to decide or determine if it was going to be two years or two decades until people were living in those homes. Now whether or not you agree with the proposal there is a meeting they're holding a a the district is holding two public forums next month to get feedback March 2nd 630 at Mead High School and March 9th 630 at Mount Spokane High School and we've also attached a link on our website at kxly.com with all of the rezoning um, and a map of exactly who this will impact reporting live in Mead Katie Curry KXLY 4 news.